Hi guys, my name is Kelsey Marison and I am Q2's newest reporter here today to talk to you about a big story I've been working on. I'm taking a look at the problem of abandoned oil and gas wells here in Montana. The Board of Oil and Gas Commission has a current list of 238 orphan wells in Montana that need to be plugged. These wells have the potential to leak methane, which is 25 times more dangerous than carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere and environment, contaminate drinking water, and much more. The gas emissions are, can be odorific in a bad way. <laughs> Landowner Sam Storrett had to deal with the negative impacts these wells leave firsthand. After purchasing a piece of land over 40 years ago that contained 16 wells, most of which were already abandoned. We know there's people pumping them and selling the oil and why they weren't tied to any responsibilities, kind of a curiosity. The state has been working hard since the 90s to plug our orphaned wells, but it can be a lengthy process. After identifying an orphaned well, it is studied and then placed on a list ranked in order of priority. Over 400 wells have been plugged since the operation started, but the list still has over 230 wells waiting. That's where Curtis Shuck comes in. You know, I had been involved in the oil and gas industry for, gosh, nearly 30 years in various roles. And I had never in my entire life seen anything like I experienced in northern Montana. Shuck left an almost 30-year career in the oil field to start his nonprofit, the Well Done Foundation. The Well Done Foundation has plugged 22 wells nationwide over the past three years, many of which are here in Montana. Ten more wells are scheduled to be plugged in Montana by the end of the year by the Well Done Foundation, allowing the $25 million federal grant Montana is receiving for plugging wells much more opportunity. And it's not like there's a, you know, a magic a uh, silver bullet out there. Um, it's just everybody doing their part and makes a huge difference. 